Another type of symptomology and problem we get are galls. Basically, we got two words that we have to understand out of this. That's hypertrophy and hyperplasia. Hypertrophy means an increase in cell size. Hyperplasia means an increase in cell number. You have either one of these, you will get an increase in size of the material. You have both of them, and then you've got a real problem. When we're looking at galls, we're looking at increased cell size, increased cell number. Either way, this will give us an amorphous mass that we will find on a plant. This shows you corn smut. These lumps are actually individual corn grains. What happened was the smut fungus got in, came down the pollen tube, got into the corn grain and substituted corn grain tissue for its own. You now have a mass that can be up to golf ball size on the plant. It's filled with fungal mycelium. These get to be quite problematic. Here you've got two different types of galls. The one on the right is cedar apple rust. This was almost golf ball size on a cedar tree. That's just the gall on the inside, the outer horns that came out of it that look like this orange spaghetti mask, got it up to about baseball size. On the other side, we've got a gall. This is black knot on prunus. You can see that this is a lot of fungal tissue out there creating this problem. This is a gall. This is exobasidium. You can actually see two parts. The more noticeable part is this white mass of leafy tissue that has become totally distorted because you, you have an increase in cell number. It has caused the material to grow uncontrollably in the wrong way. It looks like this whole crinkled mass. If you go up above this, you can see a gall on the plant where you have this massive material on the plant itself, which is an increase in cell size, increase in cell number, and you get this gall. You can find galls that are caused by insect. There are a lot of different things that can do this. This is a gall on a plant. This is caused by a bacterium. You can see this mass in here. It shouldn't be growing like this. This is triggered by a bacterium that causes gall formation on plants. You can find galls on roots. You can find galls on stems. You can find galls on inflorescences. You can find them all over the plate. They can be caused by bacteria. They can be caused by fungi. This is crown gall. On the left, you've got it on a rose bush. On the right, you've got it on another woody plant. You can see how this has created a tremendous mass of material that is now going to be problematic for the plant. The plant isn't dying in these cases, but it's spending a lot of energy trying to get nutrients around these particular galls. The other thing is it might weaken this material as it does that you've got another problem in case some sort of pressure comes against the plant, the structure of it is going to fail. When we look at galls, increase in cell size, hyperplasia, increase in cell number, hypertrophy, these create massive symptoms that you can see on the plants.